Hello. If you're interested in learning about some of the most powerful and influential women in Greek mythology, then you won't want to miss this video. From devious queens to vengeful goddesses, these female figures played a significant role in shaping the world of ancient Greece. Whether you're a history buff, a mythology enthusiast, or just curious about the stories of these formidable women, you're sure to find something interesting and enlightening in this video. So don't wait any longer, join me now as we explore the lives and legacies of some of the most wicked women in Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, Clytemnestra is considered evil because she killed her husband, Agamemnon, the king of Mycenae, upon his return from the Trojan War. According to legend, Clytemnestra had an affair with Aegisthus, Agamemnon's cousin, and together they planned the assassination of Agamemnon. When Agamemnon returned home, Clytemnestra greeted him warmly, but then killed him in his sleep, along with Aegisthus. Her action was considered evil because it violated the sacred bond of marriage and because she killed her own husband, the king of Mycenae. Additionally, she tried to justify her assassination by claiming that Agamemnon had sacrificed their daughter Iphigenia for the war, but this is just one of the many versions of the story. In Greek mythology, Circe is considered evil because she had the power to transform men into animals and used it to detain the men she liked and to manipulate others. She was a sorceress who lived on the island of Aiaia and was known for her ability to change the form of others through her potions and spells. She used this power to lure sailors to her island and then turn them into beasts. She is often depicted as a selfish and cunning character who used her powers for personal gain and manipulation. Some stories also portray her as a cruel and heartless woman who took pleasure in causing suffering to others. Overall, Circe is considered evil because of her use of magic for selfish and manipulative purposes, as well as for her lack of empathy towards others. In Greek mythology, Medea is considered evil because she killed her own children in revenge for her husband's betrayal. Medea was a princess of Colchis and a powerful sorceress who fell in love with Jason, the leader of the Argonauts. When Jason abandoned her for another woman, Medea became enraged and plotted to take revenge on him. She killed her own children, whom she had with Jason, and then fled to Athens. Medea's actions were considered evil because she betrayed the bonds of motherhood and committed murder, especially of her own children. Additionally, she was known for her vindictive and cruel nature, as she often used her powers to cause harm and suffering to others. Overall, Medea is considered evil because of her willingness to commit murder and betray those closest to her for the sake of revenge.
It's important to note that Atalanta is not generally considered to be an evil character in Greek mythology. In fact, she is often depicted as a strong and skilled huntress and warrior. However, there are some versions of the myth that portray her as having a more negative character trait, such as her vow to only marry a man who could beat her in a foot race. This vow led to the deaths of several suitors who failed to beat her and was seen as selfish and cruel by some. Additionally, in some stories, Atalanta is depicted as being cold and distant, and is sometimes portrayed as rejecting or spurning the affections of others. Overall, while Atalanta is not generally considered to be an evil character, some versions of the myth portray her as having negative character traits, such as being selfish and rejecting the affections of others. In Greek mythology, Medusa is often considered evil because she had the power to turn anyone who looked at her in the eyes to stone. Medusa was one of the Gorgons, a group of mythical creatures with snakes for hair and the ability to petrify anyone who looked at them. While Medusa was once a beautiful woman, she was cursed by Athena and turned into a Gorgon as punishment for being raped in Athena's temple. As a result, Medusa was shunned and feared by others due to her fearsome appearance and powers. While some stories portray Medusa as a victim of circumstance, Others depict her as a vengeful and spiteful figure who used her powers to harm and punish others. Overall, Medusa is often considered evil due to her ability to turn others to stone and her fearsome appearance, as well as her potential for malevolence and revenge.